Oh, how's it going everyone? It is freezing today. Top of seven today, which is uh, very, very cold for a place so close to the coast. But um, I am on my local river today, going for the first fish of the new trout season. Um, wasn't able to get out opening day or opening weekend. It's actually Tuesday now, but um, finally found some time to get out. And it looks like I missed out as well. It looked like um, everyone had a pretty good opening weekend. Quite a few nice fish caught, especially in the local rivers. So uh, hopefully no one's been to where I'm going. And uh, we can get on to a few fish. I haven't got too long, got a few hours, but um, should give us enough time to catch a couple, hopefully. Um, rivers are pretty low for this time of year. Um, don't know how that'll affect it. But uh, had a bit of snowfall further up the valley last night, so hopefully that's just bumped the river level up a little bit. It does look a little bit higher, um, it's a little bit dirty, but um, I don't think that'll affect it too much. So, yeah, got a little walk to where we're gonna fish, but um, oh, should be there in a couple of minutes. The river is a little bit higher than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's actually at quite a good level. It's, um, it's flowing. It's clear on the edges, but dark um, in the middle, a little bit dirty. So I think that'll help our chances, to be honest. I, sort of, I think that's a pretty good level. We might as well start here. I don't know what happened to the camera there, but yeah, we're going to start here. Um, down here, I reckon. Just. Just going to start off with a uh, Eco Gear Minnow in black and gold. We all know black and gold is a perfect colour for trout, especially in these tan sort of waters. Drag. First cast of new season. Let's go. loop knot tied onto this minnow, just let it work freely. Oh, there we go. First fish of the new season and it is tiny. Let's see if I can get down here and wet my hand. First fish of the new season. Just a little fella, but you've got to start somewhere. Absolutely crushed it. Uh, ow, we're going to have to get the pliers out. Hang on. It's the only problem with treble hooks. I can get in there and be hard to get out, especially on these little fish with such small mouths. Oh, that water's freezing. This fish is so cold. There we go. He's out. Off he goes. Well, it's a good start, that. 
second cast, third cast even, of the new season, and we're on the board. Promising signs. I don't know if that's a good thing, because usually, you know how it goes, if you catch your first fish um, early on, usually means you won't catch any more, but hopefully that's not the case today. I've seen on social media that it looked like the local rivers went pretty well opening. I'm just hoping that no one has been here. Which I'd be very surprised if someone hadn't been. Very local and so accessible. But you never know. We've hammered this spot, we'll move up a little bit further. I think I can get in the water just up there. So we'll go up there and uh, hop in and work our way up, see if we can catch any more. So we can get into the river here. There we go. We're in. Hopefully we don't have to get back out for a while. The gear I'm using today, Rod is a rack raider. 682, two to five kilo, and the reel is a Shimano Sedona XT 2500 size reel with six pound braid and a six pound leader. Um, this is my favorite trout setup anywhere fishing, really, rivers, lakes. I don't think you can really go wrong. Come on. There we go. Another one. Oi, aerial trout. Settle down, buddy. Come on. Try and get him upstream from me. There we go. Come here, buddy. Ooh, jeepers. Um, we've got one in the gills, that's not good. Ah, no. I oh, know, I got it. I didn't think I was going to get that out. It's been in his gills, you probably struggle a little bit. There we go. Second fish. Get him back. Off he goes, he's right. Well, there's a good start. Very happy with that. Two fish on the board already. 
slightly bigger than the other one, which is good. Hopefully they keep getting bigger. I wasn't expecting a real big fish coming out of this run anyway, it's pretty shallow. Um, yeah. yeah, happy, good start. I've noticed with them last two fish as well. East, get off there. They haven't been in the middle of the river. They've been off to the side, just out of the fast stuff. So that last fish come off edge of that bush there where that slow bubble line is. That first one was the same, just on the opposite side. Come off there. And wet. So we go. I reckon I can keep this stick over. Oh, that water is freezing. Oh, I won't have to want to do that too many more times. Jesus. I was second guessing myself about coming up here today because I've been up here three times and only caught two fish, which surprises me because I thought if I go up the river further where not many people would go, I'd catch plenty down further where the road goes straight to it. So if I got up here where you have to wade the fish, that I get more fish, but it hadn't been like that. I only caught two and three trips, but two in the first hundred metres is promising. So maybe I just had the water levels wrong last time. There's another one. Bloody hell, even smaller. Eat, settle down. Settle. Come here. Super pretty little fish, but they're not the size we're after, that's for sure. There we are. Just a little fell, we'll get him back. Off he goes. Three. Great start. Well, I say start, I've been going for, oh, I've only been going for 20 minutes. So it is a great start, really. Got to be on there. Perfect. We'll rock up there, diverting the water, and it's going into a little eddy. Perfect spot for a fish to sit to pick up all the food washing in there. Oh, in the slow water. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. There we go. Oh, he's a better one. Knew there had to be one in that eddy there somewhere. I knew there had to be. It's the best fish of the day too. Let's let him settle down a bit. There we go. Best fish of the day. Beauty. Sitting, he was right, right hard up against the bank.
There we go. Pretty little fish, that one. Best of the day, get him straight back. No mucking around with him. A little wound on his eye there. I reckon there was a little must hit him. There he goes. Woof. Brilliant, four on the board. This has definitely been my best first fish of the season ever. Oh no, last, no, not last. Oh, there's fishing line in the tree there. Hello. I have to go pull that down. But uh, yeah, this is on track to be my best first fish of the season, definitely. Four on the board in half hour. Right, a bit of a change in the water just here. I don't know if this will affect our fish catching rate or not, but we've gone from fast flowing water to a slow, deep pool. I don't know how we'll go, but I'd say not as good as the, not as good as the fast water that's for sure I don't think definitely not wading up through there you're gonna have to get out and go through the bush for a little bit I think it's all right because I'm not really enjoying fishing this pool anyway I'd much rather be fishing the faster water so that's where the fish have been so far Oh, made it back. That was a slog and a half. Hopefully, I don't have to go that way on the way back. I can cross the river and, and uh, get up on the track. Oh. Oh no! Far out did he hit that hard. Holy moly. I hope the GoPro picked that up. Jeepers creepers. I don't think he'll come back though. Holy moly. He just bossed that and launched out of the water. Oh. That could have been number six. Hate working downstream, you've got to work it so slow. It's not a preferred tactic, but when you've got that sort of water, you've got to fish it really. Okay, taking the layer off. Had a drink. Chucked a new battery in the GoPro. I think we're set to go. This pool here. Last two times I've been here, I've caught a fish out of it. Both about the same size. I actually thought it was the same fish to start off with, but it turned out not to be. Let's we'll see how we go here. Ah, now. Oh, oh no, he's still there. I was looking down at my feet and I wasn't ready. He hit that twice, hit it, it came out of the water, it was sitting on the surface and he hit it again. Is he still there? I can't see him, he was just sitting there. Again this spot, last time here, the fish I had was so aggressive. It might be the same one, that one. So aggressive. Oh, there we go. Just a little one. He doesn't fill up very well. Oh no, he's up pretty well. 
Uh, we'll just get you off here, buddy. Uh, wow, look at the red spots on him. He... Check out the colours on him. What a pretty little fish. Beautiful red dots. Hey, turtle. So small though, so many. So many small fish in this river, but better than catching nothing, I suppose. Off he goes. Good eye. Number five. See, I'd, I'd cast that spot before, but he mustn't have been interested the first time. The second time, he just come out and wham. Uh, you know what? Don't be afraid to cast in the same spot more than once. All right, back to the water. A couple of casts in this deep hole. And we'll move up to the faster water. Someone's been camping here. By the look of it, so... This hole's probably been fished a fair bit. I think we'll move up. Oh. Mm, that's not ideal, fresh boot prints along here. Right, back to some faster flowing water. Hopefully, this means we'll find another fish. It's a bit deeper, but than what we've been catching them out of. But it's fast flowing, which is where they've been. So hopefully, that means fish. Very odd, there's just been nothing for the past oh, half a K. Started off there, fishing a bit that's really accessible, really. Caught four straight up. Now we've come to a bit that's even further away from the track and can't even seem to get a hit. At least everyone had the same idea as me, get as far away as the track as possible, but who knows. Oh, I just spooked a trout. Just sitting back in here in this real fast water, bugger. I don't think I'm getting across there. She's a... Uh bit deep and fast flowing for me there. I'll have a look at the top of the ripple, but I don't like the chances. Oh. Right, I'm just gonna fish this point <coughs> and then I'll have to get out of it. The lookout is straight above me. So. I think if I don't catch one in this pool, there's something wrong, surely. <clears throat> oh, we'll start on this side. Bugger it, that's me done. Uh, turned out started off to be the perfect day 
turned out to be, I'd say bad, it's, it was still pretty good, five fish, could add eight, eight or so, but what do you do? Um, yeah, a lot better day than I anticipated at the start, but then after a quick start like that, it soon, um, yeah, soon went downhill, but oh, that's way it goes, I suppose. Well, now it's time to get out of here and I'm um, definitely not waiting back the way I came. It'll take too long. So I think the fastest way, straight up there. I have done it before, just over there a little bit further. If you get in one of them, there's a little gutter that runs up just up there. If you can get into that, it's only 15 minutes straight up to the track and then 15 minutes from there to the car park. So, uh, yeah, I better get going. Sun's going down. Oh uh, yeah, we'll crack into it. Oh. Let's see if we can get up this party. The camera probably doesn't do it justice, but uh, it is Shit. straight up. But saves me having to go all the way back around. Actually, I might chuck my fishing rod in my bag so I've got two hands. Make it a bit easier for me. Righto, up the hill. Be careful with this grass here too. I grabbed onto some back at the start and uh, cut my fingers open. It's like cutty grass, so careful with that. Try and grab onto the small trees instead. It's so dry for this time of year. Oh yeah, it's a Start of August, and she's uh, yeah, dry as hell. It's been a real dry winter. I just had our first snow on the weekend. <sighs> so we're making it pretty slippery by memory. Just over this ridge, on a little plateau, up a gutter, straight to the track. Probably can't see that it's straight uphill, but I promise you it is. I'll turn around here in a second, see, see back down, you'll see how steep it is. Fucking hell, I've got nothing to grab onto. Uh, straight down. Oh. And we've made it to the track. What an ordeal. Far out. What a mission that was. Straight up that hill, but it was a lot faster than wading all the way back around the track. I mean the river. That would have taken another 20 minutes or so, so. Only a 15 minute walk away from the car now, so um, 
yeah, we'll head on back. I'll head on back and uh, get home. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it, that's for sure. Um, one of my better videos, definitely, with the amount of fish caught, especially out of this river. So, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Um, please like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.